Welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about 2D game tile sets. And we're going to start by creating our first tile piece. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do File, New. And let's do... You could have the choice between 128 by 128, 72 resolution. Um, or you could do 256 by 256 or 512 by 512. And I want to get a little bit more detail in mind, so I'm going to use 512 by 512. All right, click OK. We've got our layer here. Now this first layer is going to be our base, our base color and texture. For that, we're going to go ahead and select a color. For mine, I'm going to do some sort of rock. So let's start by grabbing maybe a brownish color here. Paste that in. And my second color over here, I'm going to make black. Reason being, to get a little bit of texture going here, I'm going to go up to Filter, Render, and we could do Difference Clouds or Clouds and see what we get. And if you don't like the variation that you get here, you can just redo it again and see what we get. All right, I think I like that right there. So then to make this tileable, we're going to go to Filter, Other, and then Offset. Our offset window will pop up. And being that our texture is 512 by 512, we're going to do the offset half of that. So 256 by 256. So now what we can do is if we do control F, we can repeat this filter back and forth. And that allows us to check for any inconsistencies if we want to stamp any kind of piece around. Then we can go up to Filter and Filter Gallery. And this will kind of give us some variation and style. So we have uh, categories here that we can look at, like we've got artistic styles here, we've got brush strokes, and we could go in and change these settings. And this will just give us some, some texture to work with here. So I think I'm going to maybe go with something like that. Click OK. Then I'm going to do a layer for shadows, a layer for highlights, and a layer for the grout. So with the grout, I'm going to want to go ahead and draw in some grout lines here to actually set where I want my rocks to be. All 
All right, so the first thing that we're going to do first is make sure that this base tile, so let's go up to Filter, Other, Offset. And normally it'll be set to 0, 0, and our image is 512, so we need to do half of that, right? So 256 by 256, and we'll get our seam in the middle. And this just allows us to go in and clone stamp the areas that we need to repair. And you just alt click the area that you need to clone. We just want to make sure that seam is totally gone. For the most part, that looks pretty good, so we'll call that. So then we can do filter, do the control F, and that will bring us back to where we were. Now for the grout, I've added in some square brushes here that I'm going to grab. Just erase away the second vertical line and the fourth vertical line. Good. And then we'll do the same thing again. Control F. Flip that so we can see the seams. Just try to make the grout fit the pattern here a little bit. And kind of tweak this a little bit more later.
Alright, then maybe what I want to do is add in some cracks here. And we'll call that all right for right now. Let's go ahead and do our shadows. Switch over to our highlights. where we start to add in some detailing here with the brick. And that is that we can just go in here and figure out where the highlights would be and also save some space here for the shadows. Go back over to the shadows. Add some shadow in there.
Let's see how that's looking from far away. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to add some detail in here. I'm gonna pause the video, and then we'll come back to this when I finish detailing it. All right, I finished all my detailing here. I added in some thin highlights as well on top. I could have just done it with the highlights, but I went ahead and just did a separate layer. So we've got thin highlights, our highlights, and our shadows. And I could even go and touch up the grout a little bit and make it look a little bit better. We'll just leave that for now. So now what we need to do is make sure that everything is going to tile. So do control F. So we're gonna fix up our shadows here. pretty good. So let's go ahead and turn on our highlights. And we'll need to reverse those as well. So let's do control F. There we go. pretty good. We'll go ahead and control F our highlights as well. And that looks pretty good. And this is probably the time I'd go in and add in some more detail to grout, but like I said, we'll skip that for now. Because that's looking pretty good. So we'll group this, and we will call this our mid centerpiece version 1. And we'll come back in the next tutorial and make an alteration so we can get a uh, variation. So we can have several different pieces here to make it look to have a variety when we build a level. So we'll call that it for now.